love that. And I like how you related that song yeah, to our yeah. conversation. Oh, about man. vulnerability. Honestly, the comma? The comma. And I could see you just riding on your scooter home, blaring it in your headphones. And then just being like, it's yeah, about on, the comma. Um, anyway. Yeah. No. And it's video. So your so your legs are so just stop talking. <laughs> what, what? You guys go. Thank you. Thank you. Dang, Gina. Dang, Gina. Not messing around. yesterday's story oh my toe broken sprained broken sprained I don't know I don't know here's the thing I just went for a short little jog and it felt good it actually felt great I didn't hurt at all it's still black and blue so I'm thinking I just sprained it I don't think I broke it if I broke it I don't think I'd be able to go jog anyway I'm packing up I'm gonna give it a go Imogene Pass. This is a pass that connects Uray and Telluride. It's actually a race, the Imogene Pass run, that my dad, my dad, used to race back in the 70s and the 80s. So I've always wanted to run it 17 miles between Uray and Telluride. I think you top out at about 13,000 feet, and I gotta go because, uh, you know, you want to get up there before the weather turns. So we're going up the mountain, and um, let's do this. Let's do this. Love you all. Come on. Go. Starting in Uray, heading over to Telluride, over Imogene Pass. Uh, my dad, like I already said, used to do this run as a, you know, in the 70s and the 80s. It's a race. So, 17 miles up and over these mountains. Boom. So anyway, here we go. It's going to be fun. I'm excited. Um, I was going to say something else, but I forget what it was. Hmm. Well, I'll think of it on the run. All right, putting you away, probably for a while, I'll probably pull you out toward the top. Uh, I think it's 10 miles to the top and then seven miles back down to tell you right. Let's do this. By the way, the toe feels good. The toe feels good. We are uh, hiking again. And Harrison's doing Seth's vlog for the day. Get ready for a boring ride. The Rocky Mountains are part hey, of the unique mountain here. range, you? as because, in uh, the switchbacks. Hey. Hey. They, they are part of a diocese of so glacier really melts that uh, formed them 4,000 years ago. Yes, quite young. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if you see up there, yeah. there is a green <laughs> basin that Snuffles is just, like just gorgeous. Yeah. And you often see way. flamingos it's flocking uh, yeah, with the billy goats. Oh, you see, I think oh, you we'll get back to you okay. in our yeah. next episode okay. of yeah. Nature Walks with Tucker. It's cold, isn't it? Man. Baby. I'm feeling good, but this is beastly. Oh man, gotta get some nutrition in me, some water. I'm at uh, one hour and 10 minutes to this road. Whew. I don't think it's much further to the top. I think I'm at about seven miles. 
uh, roughly. So I think it's about another three miles up. That's good. No other options. Here we go. You got sandals, you're smart. <laughs> Enjoy. Oh, crispy, baby. Crispy. Just chilling here above the clouds. Not too shabby. Oh, I can see Telluride. That is cool. It's right down there. I'm at 12 miles exactly. Five to go. It's a 17 mile run. And uh, in case anyone wants to uh, send me a letter to P.O. Box 1779, Englewood, Colorado, it won't end up here. Well, who knows? You never know. All right, love you all. I'm not gonna chill up here too long. Remember my rule of thumb. Three thunders below tree line, turn around. One thunder above tree line, turn around. No thunder yet, even though I did get rained on on the way up. Soak it in, baby. All right, let's go. Yep, we live here. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We live here. Boom.